What's going on guys? Afraid back with another video. I'd like to start off by saying thank you guys so much for clicking on the video and I really hope you guys do enjoy this Cal Fire episode. So right now we are at the Cal Fire station. Um, down here we have the t uh, sorry. Yeah, the type 3 brush engine or Frightliner brush engine here. Um, and then in the back we have a lot more engines. Let me show y'all. Uh, okay. So over here we have um, some more engines. Right over there is a uh, Cal Fire Battalion. As you can tell. Um, this is the T3 engine I'll say. Uh, this was made by Walker. Um, and then all of these were made by Medic. Sorry. These are some really good ones. So this one over here is the water tender, as you can tell. Over here is rescue or cab crew, transportation, whichever. Um, you know, and then these three are just engines, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I really hope you guys really do enjoy this video. It's been a while since I posted a GTA 5 video, so that's back again and um, I'm sorry about the mic quality and stuff um, I've been having issues so I had to improvise and this is the best thing I could do so I hope you guys do understand um, but besides that I really hope you guys do enjoy the video and let's get started all units we've got wildfire in uh Vinewood Hills alright guys so we did just get the alarm for our wildfire let's go ahead and change it to our responding gear and let's go ahead and head over there. Okay, guys, so we are using the Delta Master Touch Siren, Delta Touch Master, I forgot what that was, sorry guys, it's one of those uh, names. Uh, this is the siren that Cal Fire does use, excuse me guys. As you can tell, we do have some smoke going on. It's also, we have to make sure that traffic is closed. Oh, the Italian's right there. Anyways, oh, see, I missed a turn. Just looking at the Italian. Come on. Alright, we're gonna hear a bunch of scratching, but it won't scratch our vehicle. Oh, never mind, it did. It's alright. Alright, so. I'm gonna go up here. I guess these people didn't want to evacuate. It's alright. Let's go over here. There are some wildlife such as bunnies. So we have to make sure we do a lot to keep them alive. And as you can tell, we are in this forest area. So we have to make sure we are good. Make sure our PPE gear is on. Come on, let's get out of here. Guys, how you guys? <laughs> These guys are really sunbathing in here. Come on, let's go. And I just... Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. It's alright. Alright, so you made it. Over here. So this is why I went to my personal waypoint so we could get over here. Let's just park right there. Uh, we're gonna change into our Cal Fire PPE. Look at this. Uh, so we got the goggles, the mask, the uniform too, our backpack, and this is all made by Novo. As right, so let's grab our Roco. That's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get near fire. We're gonna request a water bomber. Units requesting uh, air support. Hopefully we could see them. 
I don't know if we could see them through all these trees, but hopefully we could get a look at it or a water drop. So let's get started. All right, finally after three hits, that's out. All right. I also forgot, so we gotta remove all my current weapons. Go. Let's right, destroy this. Or extinguish it. Sorry, not destroy. All right, beautiful. All right, it's on the tree. Come on. it's not going away oh as you can tell you just saw the water bomber it's pretty cool all right that's out all right spreading here let's just get that out boom all right so we're good on this whole area or down here at least we still have a lot up here all right why am i doing that right here it's going are the winds going against me so we gotta flip around. Right here. Perfect. Alright, beautiful work. I'm waiting for that uh, water bomber. I can't wait to see it. Right there, just flew right above us. There we go, finally. Alright, spreading up here. Oh gosh, there we go. This is what I was afraid of. So I'm pretty sure it will die out. We just gotta make sure we make sure it's under control. Doesn't spread up here or something. So I'll just be here monitoring it. All right, water bomber is going to be coming around. Pretty sure. Let's see if you get a glimpse of it. Dang it! I'm nowhere near it. And it flew right over us. Wow, that's legit. Oh, it's spreading. Alright, let's back up real quick. Let's make sure it does not spread down here. Come on, where are you going? Alright. Just, there you go. Let's see, I really want to see this water bomber. Come on, come here. I know you could come. Oh, it's on this side. We're not going to be able to see it. Oh man, this open hole right here. We're going to see it. Rest of these. Alright. We're good. I can't stop with the uniform. This is so nice. Alright. So we do got some spread up here. Sure, it will die down. Just make sure everything's clear. Perfect. Pretty sure we have this part, this huge part right here, um, the one over there in front of me, and then there's one over the hill. So three more main parts to extinguish, and we're gonna be good. There we go. So um, I can use helicopters yet. Uh, it's big. Uh, in the development stage so right now we only got planes and the only like water bomber I could find was this I think it's Canadian or Canada sorry I think it's Canada or it's um, the big scooper which is used in fires but someone said it's a uh, Canada airplane so hope you guys understand that 
Come on, drop. I want to see it. And it disappears. Eventually. What is wrong with this pilot, bro? Alright, oh, they're getting pretty close for this. What the? My man dropped wa water right here. Oh god, it feels fire retarded. I think that would be better than water. Come on, man. Alright, whatever. As long as you guys saw that there is functioning water, at least, there, at least you guys know there's water that drops from there, even though the pilot has some uh, location issues. Alright, but anyways, we waited way too long. We gotta get back in this. Alright, we gotta get out of here before it surrounds me. That. That beautiful work. Oh, there we go! Water drop! Okay. Sorry about that. That was actually perfect. Alright, so, oh god, we gotta get out of here, that water, I mean, the, <laughs> the fire is spreading, and if I get surrounded, I, I'm gonna die. Uh, so, uh, I don't wanna get injured. Oh god. Alright, I thought that fire was about to hit me. I think we stopped it. There we go, beautiful work. I don't know what time it is, let's go check real quick. Oh my god, the fire is catching up on my feet. Go. Beautiful. Alright, 7.15 p.m. I don't not sure what responded to this. Um, fire. But we've been here. I real time a good 18 minutes. Almost 19. So. Been here for quite some time but we're getting some major progress on this uh, section of the fire again our job is to protect this area for now um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot more in uh, oh my god there's a lot more brush trucks over there watering down the terrain on the other side so it's wet no issue there but not a lot here only one, which is over here. And a lot of people that wanted to sunbathe, and I broke their umbrella. Yeah. Alright, so we're good on that. Let's go ahead and try to drive safely to the next area of this. No promises, though. I remember one time I was driving here and I, cr I scrape like that, or I crash. There's gonna be a lot of scratches. And a lot of maybe tiny crashes because these trees are really come back. Really crowded. I like that. Good God. First person's the best way to drive. Oh, oh whoa, that looked cool. Whoa! This looks fire. Let's get back. Oh my god, look at these bunnies. Get out, get out of here. Or when you guys get burnt alive, man. Oh, we got a fire there. I'll run you over, buddy. There you go. Okay. So let's pull out that. Yep. So, uh, again, guys. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get a GTA video. Sorry, whoa, this looks freaking sick. Oh god, it's gonna spread to my car. Or my uh, engine. Oh god. There you go. But, uh, yeah, what I was saying. Um, I apologize for not posting a GTA video soon. Sooner. Um, I'm telling you guys, major issues. Um, I think I know how to fix it. No promises. But I want to try it later on and see if it works. And if it does work, uh, more GTA videos. So happy days. But if it doesn't work, um, 
we're just gonna have to stick to this uh, system, which is not the best, or not uh, what I'm used to. But again, I told you guys in the beginning I had to improvise so I could get you guys this video. Oh god, it's oh it's coming to an end. Oh god, get me out of there. So see that's what I was afraid of. Uh, it's circling in on me, and it did. I don't know how I didn't catch on fire, but you know what? I'll take the win. Alright, let's stop this. Yep, it's always the tree, man. If the fire's in the tree, or on it, whichever. It always, man, it always just starts to spread. Oh god, my car. Oh no. No, no, no. Please no. It's gonna explode. I can't do anything. It explodes, it explodes, man. Please just extinguish. Alright. Oh god. Worst wild fire experience ever. Get away from me, man. That's gonna spread to my car again, and that's gonna officially blow up. Dude, I'm telling you, dude. Fire, uh, wildfires are so deadly, literally. See how, like, how they spread like that? Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> that actually gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. And it's getting night. This is freaking great. Oh, we got more spread. This is just wonderful. Oh my god, this is just. Oh. Yeah, get away. They're probably like, hey, what's that explosion? Yeah, it was just my uh, brush trap. Yeah, I didn't know how to uh, park it and I wasn't paying attention, so like it kind of just exploded. Like, no cap, man. I don't know how am I going to explain this to my chi. Oh, God. I should say, imagine that conversation. Hey, how'd your uh, engine blow up? Yeah, um, I wasn't paying attention and I guess it just spread. Of fire. Well, now I have no transportation, so we're just gonna have to walk this. But I don't want to walk it. I think my favorite thing about this is the hike, like uh, the animation of hiking up a hill or something with the outfit. Look at this, looks freaking sick. Yeah, All right. Never thought I'd be fighting this wildfire in the dark. That's what's happening. Alright. That's it. Beautiful. Oh. oh! I thought my game crashed. I was gonna be so mad for a second. Beautiful work. This looks freaking cool, dude. Kind of scary. No cap. Too many flames. Oh gosh. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. I really that was. Oh god, I can't speak. Um, if you guys want another, um, Wildland episode, let me know down below. Next time, I'm planning on doing, oh my gosh, United States Forest Service. And where that will be taking place, in the location of the, yeah. Gosh, dude, I can't speak, <laughs> please, um, accept my verbal or oral problems. Uh, the location will be in Polito, or the, yeah, what was it, the desert area, not the city area, I don't know how to put it, and that's where the next one will be, and instead of Cal Fire, it will be United States Forest Service, so if you guys would like to see that video, hit the like button.
as you can tell, I'm telling you, man, this thing spreads and then it um, burns out. So that's what's creating these black spots or burnt. And then somehow, um, what's it called? The black is helping them spread more. Usually in real life, the black doesn't. It usually extinguishes the fire. So it's pretty weird. But it's GTA mechanics, what do you expect? Okay, good work, good progress. We're putting an end to this thing. Yeah. Oh god, it's gonna spread on me. Usually, I deploy my fire shelter, which is basically like a a bag you def uh, get inside, and think the fire just like reflects off it. It's pretty cool, but um. We don't got that in GTA. And there's still some flames over there that I missed. So let's get that. I wonder how long we're going to be working on this. At this point, I'd probably say this fire is at least minimally 50% contained. Freaking extinguish. Oh god, it's on me again. Oh god, it's on me. This thing just doesn't end. This is like the one thing I hate about wildfires. Like there's so much vegetation, it's so hard to extinguish. This thing could catch onto something and just spread. And I'm always all like, why can't they just like, uh, what is it called? Make a fire line easily, you know? Like just end it. But like, playing these, or this, as a wildfire, or a wild, land firefighter oh, I understand it's actually really hard and tell me if you guys agree you always think like oh it's not that hard you know just make a fire line extinguish it do some water drops put some fire retardant you know just stop the spread end it but to be honest it's really hard see that's what I'm saying man like just goes behind you dead just a really hard thing to do to be honest and my respect goes out to all those wildland firefighters, Cal Fire, Arizona wildfire, or wildland firefighters, uh, Washington, just any of them. Huge respect to you guys. Because seriously, this is hard work. And definitely really scary. And shout out to every other agency. Border Patrol. Um, police. EMS, especially regular city firefighters, you know, Coast Guard, big shout out to you guys, because you guys, are, your guys' job is hard, seriously, and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm, I know how what it's like, crap, I'm saying, I understand actually how hard it is, because I'm having difficulty extinguish this crap in a game, so, I understand how hard it is, and, Thank you for your service if you are one of those agencies. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, just got a uh, little bit too talkative. It's alright though. So we just extinguished that part finally. So, like I said, we're 70 to 90% contained. That's my estimate. And then this would be the last part of the wildfires. Or the wildfire. Right here. But like I said, I'm gonna do something neat and I'm gonna go ahead and jack a ride for a brush truck. And hold on, as you can tell guys, uh this road right here is a fire line, but just in case if it does not work and jumps over to this house, this house can catch on fire. So to be sure we're making sure this uh water around the area. So it's double protection. You got the water terrain and then the road so that's pretty cool anyways like I said we're just gonna check this all right uh just want to let you guys know be prepared for a bunch of scratches yeah we're not caught in that oh my gosh oh my god uh this engine definitely needs some mechanic or handling this thing is either too slow at turning or just like 
freaking race car. And why are you guys together? This is weird. Let's see if I can fix this. There you go, I fixed it. I love the Yelp siren on this thing. Alright, there we go. So that's what I want to do. Instead of using the hose, or the hose, yeah, the Roco, I wanted to use the water from the brush. Control this red. Of course, we're gonna go out and use the hill again, but I just wanted to show you guys the water. Alright guys, uh, so we used most of the water room, so we gotta go back out on foot. Happy freaking day, man. It's alright. Let's see. What time is it? So, last time we checked it was 7 something p.m. Now it's 3 a.m. Jeez, we've been on this thing for quite some time. Oh my god. Get me out. Oh god not again oh my god why am i so retarded didn't i learn this in the earlier oh my god it's gonna explode oh no that's two losses hey chief i lost two vehicles how'd you do that son um first time you know i wasn't paying attention second time i was not paying attention but the first time i was more focused on the fire like no, oh my god, I this is dis disgraceful. I am so sorry, sir. Anyways. Beautiful work. This thing's gonna be coming to an end pretty soon. I'm gonna go ahead and give a status report after I oh, sorry, not status, a final report. Call it dispatch. This is unit 12. We are officially code 4. Wildfire is contained. Alright, before I end the call, I wanted to go ahead and go over here because I want to show you guys how it looks. So let me get to an area. I'm going to go ahead and cut to it. Alright, guys, so we're back on top of this uh, hill. This looks crazy. The city looks crazy. The plane is pretty dope. Anyways, so let's go ahead and end it. Dispatch, we are for four. Alright, hold on. What is this guy doing? I'd like to see real quick. Absolutely nothing. Yep, alright. Dispatch, we are code for Alright guys, so as you can tell, the smoke is finally lifting off. Uh, oh yeah, there's an issue with this one. Usually that float off too, but it's not. Anyways, as you can tell, it said we are code 4, so we are code 4. We're going to go ahead and dismiss the water bomber. Here we go, bye bye. And that's going to go ahead and do it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stand right over here. And go ahead and give you guys a final report. Type of incident is a wildland fire. The incident location is Vinewood Hills. Uh, the fire cause is under investigation, most likely due to a um, lightning. 
Uh, the acres, we're gonna go, estimate, I don't know. Let's just go with 3,000. I know it's wrong, or it's right, whichever. But, just bear with me. Um, structures damaged is zero. Two vehicles were lost. No firefighters were injured. The incident name is Vinewood Hills Fire. The fire was extinguished at 3.50 a.m. 100% contained. Eight engines were assigned. One water bomber. And um, one person out. All right, guys. So that is my final report on this thing, or on this wildfire. So, again, don't mind that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. Sorry for my lack of comment or commentary. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for bearing with me. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you guys for sticking on this journey with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.